So a friend of mine recently uh, posted his uh, music room and all, and uh, then I saw another buddy uh, that had posted some iconic guitars. I'm not sure my guitars are iconic, but I thought I'd show you some of the stuff I have in my, uh, my music room. These are Elvis TV Guide covers. Uh, a few years ago, they offered them in the um, hologram. And so I had these framed in red velvet, which I think are pretty, pretty cool. Those are holograms, of course. And then these have some hologram effects to them. And uh, I guess they all do. But uh, I'm proud of them. I think they're, they're pretty and they're, they're unique looking. And um, that was actual covers they had done in the holograms and like I said I, I framed it all in red velvet and then this is one I got uh, from my buddy Rick out in Vegas we we traded this is a program and uh, the actual tickets and photographs that he took at the uh, Elvis the concert when it came to uh, Las Vegas in 1998 it was like when it was first starting and I came back and played the actual Las Vegas Hilton and uh, Rick went and that's the actual ticket stubs and actual photographs that's the cast on stage after the show I guess and actual footage uh, you know a, a picture of the show and then the autographed program from all the uh, cast that he met that night and got autographs this is a poster picture my cousin Donna made she's a if I can get a better shot of it. I mean, she's a professional photographer, and uh, I, I did a show back in 2006 with uh, Willie Nelson and Ray Price and Don Helms. And, uh, anyway, I was lucky enough to be able to open that show, and these are photographs she took from that show at the amphitheater. And uh, it was a show that was put on for Hank Williams Sr.'s birthday back in 2006. And... Uh, she was nice enough to make that poster for me, which I appreciate greatly. This is another picture from uh, when Elvis the concert went to Finland. And I think uh, my buddy Rick got that for me also, if my memory serves me correctly. And uh, I'm proud of that. It has a special place in my music room here. Now coming over here, these are some of the, uh, the stars that I've been lucky to meet or get autographs. My friend Rose Vegas Waters got me this autograph from Dick Clark, which I cherry I really treasure this now since Dick is gone. But uh, that was special to have that. And then, of course, my buddy, my buddy Don Hams, who played still with Hank Williams Sr., me and him, I got to do his last three tours uh, before he passed away, which was special. And uh, I'll always remember that. This is when our band won the uh, best band in Montgomery, Alabama. And uh, that was voted on by the uh, Channel 8 and the local newspaper uh, readers voted on our band. And uh, we were lucky enough to be named as the best local musical group so I'm proud to have that up here is uh, the uh, the record day special release of my happiness and uh, of course that was re remastered and whatever by um, Alan Stoker well I got to go to Nashville and meet Alan and uh, get him to autograph my sleeve for me which I really appreciate and uh, this just is a plaque showing when I became a lifetime member of the Hank Williams Museum in Montgomery, Alabama. If you haven't been to the museum, you need to go and uh, check it out. It's a great place. They do have the uh, car, as you see in the plaque there. They have the car that Hank made his last trip on, and it's a great experience. So if you're in Montgomery, go see the Hank Williams Museum. My sister, who is a great artist, drew this picture for me of Hank Williams Sr., and I think it's a great likeness. And of course it has a special place here in my music room. It's one of a kind that she drew herself. Of course it's a, she used a photograph of Hank, but uh, I just love it. I think it's a great uh, likeness and uh, it means
means even more because my sister drew it. So, Sister Pammy. Of course, up here, uh, my autographed picture of Merle Haggard, uh, which I'm proud of, 2006. That's my little nephew with Santa Claus, Gideon, and of course. Then uh, my autographed picture from Ray Price. It was great to be able to hang out with Ray and get to know him. And of course, my autographed picture of Nick Saban, Roll Tide. What can you say? And there's more over here. Uh, my autographs from all the uh, TCB band. And even the autograph from uh, John Wilkinson from the TCB band. And then the, uh, the Memphis Boys autographs. So I'm proud to have all that. That's uh, special. I think my friend, uh, I think my friend Randy and Kelly got me that in Memphis years ago, and I'm really still tickled to have it. And, uh, of course, this is all my collection of stuff. This is a, a Hag belt buckle that Rose gave me, which is all bead, beaded work, as you can see. That's a bottle of Whiskey River whiskey, which is autographed by Willie Nelson. I got him to autograph that when I met him at the uh, Last of the Breed recording sessions in Nashville. This is, a few years ago we had a uh, music awards in Montgomery, and uh, I was lucky enough to win one of the male vocalist awards for that, and I, so I'm proud of that award. Of course, all my little stuff from music, Elvis, everything you know that I love. It's uh, this is an award back here. It says from the Hank Williams Museum. It says thanks for being a. Uh, a friend of the legend, and of course that has a special place in my music room also. Now I'll get to the uh, instruments. Uh, first one uh, is down here, let's see if I can pick it up. This is a 1935 Gibson mandolin. Of course it needs some work. But uh, I think it's in great shape considering the age and all of it. And uh, of course, it's it's got a split on the uh, on the headstock there that has been fixed, but I don't know how well. I'd like to have it looked at again by a professional guitar mandolin maker, make sure everything is is good. But. Uh, that's something my daddy acquired years ago, and uh, so I'm glad to have it. I need to get a I need to get a case for it, but you know. Then of course this is my Gibson RB250 Master Tone banjo that I've had since 1979. I <laughs> I worked all summer with my daddy at his garage and uh, bought that banjo. That was like one of the first things I ever bought for myself, which I'm proud of, and uh, I just wanted a real good banjo, so uh, I put all my money back every week except like $20 to have lunches, and everything else went toward this banjo, and so I still got it, still love it, and uh, next to it, it's one of my favorite guitars, my HDO Grand Ole Opry Commemorative Martin, it's a uh, one of only 650 made in the world. Uh, as you can see, it's got a lot of great detail. Up here is an actual engraving of a microphone, like the old timey microphones. And then this front looks like the uh, sign that you know you would see on the microphones, and that's engraved also. Of course, inside is a picture of the Ryman Auditorium and the number of the guitar. And it's signed by C.F. Martin IV, I believe, if I got that correct. It's basically a, an HD 28 Martin, but it, they've just got it fixed up really beautiful, and the tone on it is great. You've heard me play it before. Next to it is a, uh, a Dean Acoustic, which I enjoy playing, and it's, uh, it's electrified, which is one of the reasons that I 
bought it. I wanted something that I could play if I wanted to play in a smoky place or somewhere that might be dangerous to that guitar, then I would play this one because uh, it don't cost as much. <laughs> Next to it is a 53 Gibson that my dad acquired. Um, I'm really proud of this guitar. It's beautiful. It's got rosewood back and of course the old uh, soap pickup they call them. And, uh, but that's a 53 Gibson. It's electric acoustic so it'll play either way. And of course, last but not least, uh, is my 1976-77 Les Paul Custom. I've had that since my 14th birthday. I've told the story many times about my dad buying that and a Super Reverb amp for me for my 14th birthday, which was unbelievable. I still can't believe it to this day, but I have both still and they mean a lot to me, a lot of sentimental value, and of course they're great pieces of equipment too, so uh, just a, a great blessing that my dad, he really believed in me and backed me, him and mom on both, and so I, I'm blessed to have good parents that love me and uh, push me in my music, and like I said, that's a very special guitar to me right there. And down here is my This is my uh, James Burton Signature Telecaster. As you can see the uh, detail on the uh, all the Paisley and the gold hardware, I, it's wore off. I've been playing this guitar in gigs since 1990, 91, I guess. Of course, up here you can see the, uh, the small facsimile of James's signature on there. Right there, James Burton. But here's something special. In 2006, I got to meet James, and he autographed the back of my guitar for me. James Burton, 06. So that means a lot. Of course, uh, got to hang out with James. He was at the studios with us for the uh, Last of the Breed recording sessions with Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, and Ray Price. And we all hung out, ate, ate lunch at Cracker Barrel, and he uh, signed my guitar. And later, of course, we went down and went to James's Guitar Festival in Shreveport. And uh, so that was a lot of fun. But that's basically my, uh, my musical collection right now. And I uh, just wanted to share that with y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And we'll catch you later on.